to this week's episode of the Saturday Showdown. We are just 24 little hours away from episode 27 of the Tournament of Trios. And we still have one more team to add to the finals of the Tournament of Trios. As the Thrillers are taking on the Scourge of the Seven Seas. So the winners of this match will be going on to episode 27 tomorrow to face the party animals in the final of the men's tournament of trios. And we got Mark Haskins in the ring with the Black Pig. So of course the Thrillers, Mark Haskins, Yeston Reese and Joel Redmond. And the Scourge of the Seven Seas led by Captain Clothesline. Tom the Cabin Boy and the Black Pig who is in the ring. And we have not had a tournament of trio since 2022. And this is only the second tournament. So rules for these trio matches, they differ slightly from a lot of our other tag team encounters. There is no time limit. Pinfall submission and TKOs all count in elimination. The team will be victorious once all three members of the opposing team have been defeated. And there is only a five second count on the outside for count outs, not the usual ten. So we're trying to speed these matches up a little bit. It's Tom the Cabin Boy missing hopelessly there. Yeston Reese just picking him up. Launches Tom. Sends him hard into the corner. And let's not forget episode 27. Only place you can see that is here on our NFHW YouTube channel. We have got both the men's and women's NFHW titles on the line. As JBL will be defending against Typhoon. And Jordan Grace will be defending against former champion Kayla Hatton. And that match should be absolute dynamite. Oh, the Black Pig with Haskins just pounded away 10 big clubbing blows Haskins goes down bit of a mistake there though by the Black Pig Haskins was not the legal man And this first pink four submission is so important. It sets your team up for the rest of the match. Once you can get that numbers game advantage, things tend to go your way. I believe in all the qualifying rounds for the final, every team that had that first pink four submission has advanced. Tag to Haskins. Going up to the top row. Yes. Oh, launches Haskins. That was Joel Redmond, I believe. It's quite hard to tell them apart, the two bearded warriors there. I mean, Haskins has a beard as well, so they've all got beards. There's a tag to Yeston Reese, the largest man on the Thrillers team. Still waiting for the first elimination of this match. Oh, Black Pig counters back up to his feet. But not for long. Sidewalk slam. And the power of Yeston Reese. Oh, tag goes to Tom the Cabin Boy. And we're still yet to see the captain in the ring. Tom just dropped over that top rope. 
And a big headbutt to the midsection. with that count remember they only have a five count Tom back in sends Justin off the ropes oh big German suplex catches Justin Reese but he quickly makes that tag to Mark Haskins and a big old Soto Galli there taking Haskins down Power bomb and a big knee. Haskins in trouble. But Yeston, Joel Redmond, I believe, breaking that up. And there's a tag to Captain Clothesline. The professional pirate is now in the ring. Tying up Haskins with that Indian figure four. British figure four, Indian Deathlock. Even. That's a good tag. And then to tag to Tom the Cabin Boy. And a bit of double teaming now. As both teams still looking to get that first elimination. And a tag back to the captain. Scourge of the Seven Seeds with those quick tags in and out. Captain off the ropes. Big elbow. Haskins, lovely arm drag, catches the captain. Hits that drop kick. Haskins makes a tag to Yeston Reese. Captain Clothesline just taking Yeston Reese down. Sending hard into that corner. Oh, the captain raking the eyes over that top rope. And a big kick to Yeston Reese. Tag to Tom the Cabin Boy. Oh, both men missing their moves there. But yes, and he's back in control. Big spear. That should be it. But the black pig is in to break up the cover. Takes a DDT for his trouble, and the captain gets shoulder bars off the ring, ring apron for good measure. But Yeston Reese distracted here, not paying attention to the legal man, and gets a drop kick to the face. Just a one count. Yeston Reese kicking out. And now Tom the cabin boy taking his eyes off of Yeston but sees him coming in. Oh, big power bomb there. But a tag to Joel Redmond. Who just gets kicked right to the face as he comes in. I'm not sure Tom the cabin boy realised that Redmond was the legal man. Redmond trying to use the extra leverage, leverage there from the ropes. But the captain making sure that didn't work. Oh, Canadian destroyer. And that is it. Joe Redmond has been eliminated. The thrillers are now a man down. As Joe Redmond eliminated with a TKO. And now the Scourge of the Seven Seas has that numbers advantage, which is so beneficial in these kind of matches. 
But Tom, the cabin boy, in trouble. As referee has that count going. Both men back in on three. And the thrillers really need to put away Tom, the cabin boy, here quickly to get back on an even keel. Tom, the cabin boy. Big power bomb on Haskins. There's a tag to Yeston Reese. He walks straight into that drop kick. And a tag to the captain. Gets Yeston up. Spins him through. And the captain was just taunting little kicks there. I'm not sure you want to do that with someone like Yeston Reese. But the captain hits that neck breaker. Just playing with Reese here. is underway captain to the outside as well though Weston Reese sent back in clothesline back in once again using those ropes for that advantage and we got a tag to the black pig Lovely springboard moonsault on Yeston Reese. Has been eliminated. Yeston Reese has been eliminated. And now Haskins is in there by himself against all three members of the Scourge of the Seven Seas. And now things are not looking good for the Thrillers. As it is three on one. But Haskins still fighting here. He is not someone that is just going to walk away from this. Anyone can do it. Haskins is the man. But that is it. The Black Pig has been eliminated. So now we are down to two on one. Cover by Tom. Just a two count. And that is Here it. Are your winners, the Scourge of the Seven Seas. The Scourge of the Seven Seas victorious here. So they will be going on to tomorrow's episode 27 to face the party animals. And speaking of the finals of the tournament, the trios, that lady there, Jade Cargill, will be in action with Demolition XX against Kakane Mochi in the women's final. But here tonight, she's in one-on-one on, in -on -one action against Bianca Belair. And I've just been informed as well that the women's tag team titles will be on the line tomorrow as the BP Bunch defend their belts against the dark line. Also, Maverick Mayhew will be defending that Ascension title 
and we will find out against who in our next match as the winner of the next match will be going on to face Mayhew at episode 27. And the Rising Phoenix title will not be on the line tomorrow, but it will be on the line here today. So make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW. Cargill sent back in. Of course, we are back to normal rules, so they have a 10 count on the outside. There's a cover. Beautiful standing moonsault there by Belair. This is going up to that second row. Oh, big splash connects, catching Cargill. Just a two count. And the power display by Bianca Belair there with that running power slam. And once again, dead lifting Jade up from the floor with another power slam. Oh, Jade Cargill launching Bianca there as she comes crashing down hard. <laughs> Sends her over that top rope, following up. The action once again, spilling out to the outside. Three up to a four count. Oh, big kick. Could that be it? Yes, it is. Here is your winner, Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill with that beautiful kick. Victorious here tonight. But how will Demolition XX fare against Kikane Mochi? Find out tomorrow at episode 27. But it is now time to find out who will be facing Maverick Mayhew as Tyler Hazard, winner of the Season 6 Wednesday Night Wars, is taking on the former Ascension champion, the party boy, Graza Gates. Of course, Mayhew defeated Gates last week to pick up that title. And the referee there just slapping Graza Gates on the head. With that count, I'm not sure if Tyler Hazard slipped him some money, money to do that. But that was a very aggressive way to count the pin there by Gary, our referee. Raza Gates going up high. High risk early on. Will it pay off? Big crossbody, it connects. Raza with those strikes, catching Tyler Hazard. And hitting that neck breaker. Referee has that count going. Hazard sent back into the ring. Raza Gates taking his time to get back in, giving Hazard plenty of opportunity to recover. 
Gates once again going up high, hits that elbow. As both men just exchanging blows. Who's going to come out on top in this one? Tyler Hazard getting a couple in, but Brazza Gates still fighting back. Gates catching Hazard with a big kick. Just a two count though. Tyler Hazard kicking out. He did not win season six of the Wednesday Night Wars without being a tough competitor. And also Tyler Hazard was one of the guys that helped train Graza Gates in his early early outings here in the world of professional wrestling. So these two do know each other very well. But there is no love lost here tonight. There is so much on the line. A shot at that Ascension title and Tyler Hazard with the cover. But just a two count. Raza Gates is one of the toughest wrestlers here, pound for pound. Tyler Hazard, Lady Destroyer. We've seen how effective that move can be, but Raza Gates managing to kick out. And now Tyler Hazard going up top. Oh, Graza Gates catching him in that cross body. Graza Gates. Just playing Tyler Hazard like a guitar. Humiliating the rock star Tyler Hazard. And that is it. Here is your winner, the party boy, Graza Gates. The party boy, Graza Gates, has another shot at the Ascension title. Tomorrow at episode 27, the tournament of trios. But it is now time for our main event of the evening, and it is for the, uh, the Rising Phoenix title. And it is a triple threat match rules as the champion Oscar is defending against one half of the tag team champions, Violet Obsession and Piper Nevin. Of course, Violet will be defending that tag team titles tomorrow at episode 27 with her tag team partner, Summer Dew, as they take on Felony and another winner of the Wednesday Night Wars, Philomela, the dark line. But that is then, this is now. So triple threat rules, the first pinfall or submission will win the match and be the new or retaining Rising Phoenix title. The champion does not need to be involved in the decision to lose the belt. So this match does not favour Oscar here tonight, who has held that belt for quite a while. She won the title in a triple threat match herself, I believe. 
So she knows what these matches can, <laughs> what these matches are like. And of course, there are no count outs or disqualifications. So that chair that Violet brought into the ring is as legal as a wrist lock. Violet Obsession with that abdominal stretch. And Oscar finding a way out. Reversal. And this is why you need eyes in the back of your head here. Oscar realising that Violet was right there. Took a... When you take your eyes off one of your opponents, the other one is normally right behind you. Oh, Oscar with the chair. Crashing down on Piper Nevin. going up high big double axe handle to the outside looking under the ring once again with a microphone I believe now all three women on the outside so you can't win the match on the outside pinfall submissions has to take place inside the ring but there are no count outs. They can be out here inflicting damage for as long as they like. As Piper gets up close and personal with that ring post. another one somewhere because I don't think that one will be working after that and if you would like to help support the channel you can do that over on our Patreon page patreon.com slash Ninkeso help us pay for new microphones you can see our top tier Patreons do get their names on the ring aprons of the shows. But just watching this much of the video is a really big help as well. So I want to shout out a massive thank you to everyone that has watched right up until this point. If you have, let me know down in the comments. as that is a very good way to help the channel out as well. Likes and comments, the best free way to help support the channel. As these three women still just brawling on the outside. They're gonna need to get back in if they want this match to end. Oh, kick to the back of Violet. And Oscar back in. So is Piper Nevin. A big clubbing blow. Cover by Piper. But not enough to put away Oscar. Oh, Oscar looking for that submission. Can she get Violet to tap? But Piper Nevin not waiting to find out. Oh, 
Oh, big cross body takes Oscar down. Piper Nevin left in the ring with Violet. Gets Violet up. Face first. Now Piper with that chair. Oh, crashing down. On to Violet. And again. Oscar back in, but quickly cut off. Sent out over that top rope. There's a cover by Nevin. And that is it. Here is your winner and the new Rising Phoenix champion, Piper Nevin. Nevin on you. Rising Phoenix champion, but that is it for tonight. Make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW.